Welcome to this episode of Charging the Agency Frontier. Today, I'd like to introduce you to Jared Gold. He's the founder of Brevity Digital. Uh, they focus exclusively on building clients' Squarespace websites. And uh, today, he's going to share some Squarespace insights and whether it's the right fit for your, your clients, your agency. Uh, but before we get started, Jared, do you want to share a little bit about yourself? Any fun facts or weird facts? Or Sure, yeah. Uh, thanks for having me on the show, Robbie. So, uh, I've been doing Squarespace sites now for about six and a half years. And so I've had uh, Brevity for uh, most of that time. And then more recently, uh, been focusing on scaling a Website by Tonight, which we'll talk about more soon. And then um, fun facts would be in uh, second grade, I thought I was going to, uh, or rather, I was a yo-yo teacher. Um, I thought yo-yos were the coolest thing ever uh, when I found them in kindergarten. Uh, during a school assembly and then uh during high school i thought i was actually going to become a professional poker player so those are some random uh facts uh and skills i've learned throughout the years so are you good at poker i consider myself pretty good at poker yeah i spent a lot of time uh studying the game a lot of time losing before i finally figured it out yeah nice cool let's play poker sometime have yeah. poker night uh, all right. Well, let's get started. Uh, kind of go into the the business side of things, and you know, our, our primary audience uh, for charging agency frontiers is, is obviously you know going to be agency owners, and there's going to be marketers and other roles as well. But um, you know, first of all, let's kind of talk about uh, Squarespace, what it is, uh, what it isn't. Uh, people have heard maybe of Wix and and kind of website builder tools, but what what is Squarespace and and what is it not? Yeah, yeah. So um, Squarespace is, it's kind of hard to explain because sometimes people say Squarespace is a website builder and there's a lot of those. And then sometimes people say it's a content management system. I consider it a content management system. Um, It's not quite as, you know, um, feature rich as something like a WordPress or a Drupal uh, or one of those open source CMSs or enterprise level CMSs. But um, the platform has really, really continued to evolve the past few years to the point where it's really improved like drastically quicker than, you know, Wix or Weebly or any of those. And really Squarespace is in a category of its own, in my opinion, and it's continuing to um, be super, super customizable and feature rich uh, already within the platform. Like a lot of people don't know that. you know, Squarespace's newest templates allow for even more customization. Like um, you can add custom CSS or JavaScript, you know, at, to any part of a page, to the entire page, site-wide. There is even a developer version. I, I haven't personally used it. Um, and they're continuing to improve on SEO. And so, um, yeah, I think Squarespace just really continues to evolve into its own uh, more turnkey CMS. So, um What it isn't is it's not, you know, a super enterprise level thing where everything is is pixel perfect. I mean, maybe if you use the developer version, but, you know, I'm not sure where that differs from something like the WordPress. But but what Squarespace really is, is like in a league of its own to create like a relatively simple, straightforward site that doesn't necessarily have to be pixel perfect, but is fully responsive out of the box, is hosted for you, and probably has all the functionality you need. And you can also easily embed other um, widgets as well. So if you want to embed like live chat or things like that. Um, so there's really a lot of things it can do. Right now, it still can't support like a back end, um, like directly on the site, but it could easily be the front end. And then you click like login and then it goes to, you know, a subdomain, you know, on a separate back backend. Um, yeah. does, does that kind of cover some of those? Uh, yeah, definitely. So, uh, so how would you compare it to, you know, something like you, you mentioned WordPress? Uh, I think WordPress has something like seventy-seven percent CMS market share, and you know, certainly the most popular content management system, and mm-hmm. leaned into by agencies. Uh, you know, under what circumstances should agencies be considering Squarespace versus WordPress? Because most of them yeah. are just, you know, WordPress. That's just the go-to. Right. Yeah, and like WordPress is awesome, right? But um, I think from speaking to a lot of agency owners and marketers and everything where I think Squarespace really stands out is, for example, if you have to throw up like, um, let's say a, a simple website that's maybe, you know, a single page or, you know, five to six pages or even more, but it doesn't require 
um, pixel perfect design. Like it just needs to look good overall. Um, and like, let's say, let's say for example, clients don't have a, a super big budget or you're losing money on the site by doing it, but you want to make them happy and you're tying up all of this developer or designer time, what have you like Squarespace is much easier to get those simple sites, um, up and running quickly. Yeah. And really easily. Like, so for example, you know, with WordPress, like a lot of the agency owners I speak with, they say, Oh, you know, we just want to throw up a quick WordPress site for a client. And every time we think it's going to be easy, it takes more time than it, it needs to. And, you know, then you're tying up your designers from like the more important, you know, those, those bigger projects that require those deep WordPress builds. So if you need to throw up a, an attractive site that isn't too complicated, is relatively brochure in nature, doesn't have like a ton of content migrated to it or something, um, uh, or it needs to be done quickly, I think Squarespace is like a really, really amazing tool to have in your toolkit for those cases, especially if the client is, you know, um, you know, pretty lower on budget, right? Like I think Squarespace shouldn't be ruled out in those cases because one of the other perks is like you never have to install plugins or updates or things like that. Um, everything just like runs for you. So like you throw up the site and you don't have to worry about any of the down the road costs. And then lastly, if clients want to be able to perform simple maintenance on their own, Squarespace really, really is much easier to do that handoff. So let's say a client, um, you know, is, is, doesn't have a ton of money, can't pay you for these retainers, but they really want to be more, more proactive in managing the content on the website or even blogging on it. Like Squarespace makes that handoff really, really easy as well. Gotcha. Uh, another question is how customizable are, are Squarespace templates? What, what kind of features uh, uh, do they have? Yeah. So like I would say when I first started on Squarespace, like six years ago, there was really only like, it was pretty minimal and there was only like one or two templates that were like decent in terms of um, building out a more intricate site. But now um, Squarespace continues to invest in these templates and they have this new template family called Brine. And it's got a variety of different templates to choose from. And I would say the Brine templates uh, in particular are super customizable. So like um, it supports what are called index pages, which essentially like it just allows you to add multiple sections all stitched together into one page. And like each section individually can be customized. So like if you want to add, if you want to change a background color, if you want to add like section specific CMS, um, or not CMS, excuse me, CSS, if you want to add like a background pattern, if you want to add like animations, like you can, an you can do that on those levels as well as there's a, there's a great Chrome extension uh, called like CSS, like Squarespace block identifier and every Squ Squarespace is modular in the sense of, you know, it's made up by dragging these different content blocks, you know, text or images or embedded video, whatever. And by using this block identifier, you can really quickly copy the exact ID of the Squarespace block and use custom CSS or JavaScript or whatever to affect that. Like it works really, really amazingly. Um, and there's going to be continued, to, there's going to continue to be more community supported tools there. So the fact that you can, you know, um, you can't necessarily get into the HTML level of a Squarespace site, um, of every component of the page, unless you're on the developer template. but um, you know, embedding, having CSS and JavaScript, embedding code onto a page, um, customizing all these individual sections, as well as like site-wide CSS and JavaScript and, uh, and all those things, you can get pretty customizable with Squarespace. Like, you know, if you're the type that wants uh, like a mobile nav to look exactly one way or something, or like do these kinds of, you know, super custom and kind of crazy animations, that's probably where Squarespace is, is not a fit. But um, if you're willing to compromise on some things, it's really quite customizable. Gotcha. And what's the cost of Squarespace? So there are multiple different plans. Uh, the lowest one is still pretty good, and it's the personal plan, and it's $12 a month if you pay for the year. Um, and uh, us Squarespace pros can get 20% off the first year as well. Um, so there's the, uh, the $12 a month option if you sign up for the year. There's also a commerce option. Um, and, and then there's, uh, there, there's, a, there's one simple commerce tier and then there's two additional ones. So Squarespace could be up to like 40 bucks a month. 
Um, but you know, 12 to 40 a month is still pretty good. And it's like super fast, reliable hosting. Um, one thing that's cool is it comes with, uh, SSL certificates out of the box, which is, I know a, a big inconvenience sometimes. Um, and you know, they have a really awesome customer support team. They have a lot of functionality already built into the platform. And, uh, so yeah, I mean, I, I think the pricing for everything you get, uh, and not having to worry about making these like maintenance changes or platform updates or whatever and that customer support i think all all in all is a pretty good uh, deal i was gonna say yeah about hosting and updates plugins customer support i mean it sounds like squarespace is pretty pretty streamlined yeah that's like definitely i would say that's one of the biggest advantages over like a cms like wordpress or something um you know especially if you like buy a premium, te a premium template from one place and then you um, download a wordpress plugin from another and you install it on, let's say, like a premium hosting, like like a flywheel or something. Um, you know, that's great and all, but then you got to make sure all these pieces are working together nicely. And, you know, let's say the latest version of WordPress you install to fix like security flaws and that breaks your plugin and it's just a nightmare. And then who do you reach out to for support? So the fact that Squarespace is really a single point of support for, um, those types of technical things it, it is pretty sweet, right? And then, I mean, they're not going to support when it comes to like custom coding or any custom functionality you've added, but hopefully, you know, you know how to do that yourself or the person you're, you've contracted to knows how to do that. Gotcha. Uh, how easy is it to, to learn Squarespace uh, if, you know, we're talking to an agency here and they've got designers that are comfortable in WordPress uh, how easy it is is it to make a, the transition to, to Squarespace? So, um, you know, I think it's pretty easy overall. It's it's definitely more user friendly than WordPress. I think because it's it is a drag and drop CMS. I think the hardest thing about Squarespace is just understanding a little bit about the nuances of um, maybe what it can't do or what isn't customizable. But I think once you get the hang of it just a little bit, um, and they have a lot of great how to guides on the website, um, whether it's a time on this interview now or another time, I, I'd be happy to like um, share my screen and show you like how quickly it is to just whip up the Squarespace site. Um, you can let me know if you wanna save that for another time. But uh, you know, it is a drag and drop CMS and it's very modular with these dragging in these content blocks. And it, um, what's really cool is on the left side, uh, when you're in the edit mode, um, you see like all the pages uh, structured nicely. And then on the right side is actually what is happening. So you're seeing the, the website change in real time as you're interacting with it, as opposed to like saving a change and then going back and like refreshing a page or something. Um, and I think that's like a huge value as well. So I think once you just get the hang of like the dragging and dropping and just the different content blocks available to you and then familiarize yourself just a little bit with how um, Squarespace templates work as, as a whole, like, I think in a few hours, you could get a pretty solid hang of it, maybe quicker. Nice. That's not long at all. Uh, what about integrations and, and widgets that Squarespace supports? Yeah, so one of the cool things now that you know we're all seeing in software is uh, there's all these like SaaS tools and widgets, and they do all the hosting for you. And it's just a matter of like embedding HTML on a page or embedding JavaScript uh, site-wide in the in the header footer and so that makes things really really easy with squarespace so for example on my site on my partner page uh, for website by tonight we have uh, a live chat widget and that's just using drift um, and like that's just a little bit of javascript that like it, it you know you can export from drift site and just embed on your squarespace site in like 15 seconds and it works great so um i know squarespace has like actual deeper integrations like with mailchimp um, and like an email opt-in uh, tool they have. And they have other integrations, I think, for like e-commerce and stuff or Google Analytics. Um, so they have like a pretty decent of native integration, uh, a selection of native integrations, but then also just like the fact that you can just embed JavaScript or code anywhere on a page or um, on the whole page as itself or site-wide, uh, with just a few lines of code in the right place. Uh, it, it's pretty flexible. Gotcha. Uh, what about uh, Squarespace for SEO? So uh, I get this question a lot. I actually don't know that much about SEO. Um, I should probably learn it. But 
from what I do, from the Squarespace pros that I do talk to that have worked on both WordPress and Squarespace and, and um, you know, know what they're talking about. They say, and I see it as well on the platform, like when I get the notifications about, hey, check out the new stuff. You know, when it, if SEO is a big priority and, um, and, and like you're investing a lot in it, then something like WordPress would probably be much better. But Squarespace continues to improve its SEO offering. Um, and honestly, it, it seems to be like pretty good already out of the box, like Squarespace you know, their, their sites are hosted quickly and they support like, um, AMP, you know, accelerated mobile pages, it's SSL certificates, like out of the box. Um, they're fully responsive. So even, even just starting a new Squarespace site, a lot of the elements are set up for SEO in general. And then there are places to add, um, you know, for each page, like different metadata, you can add alt tags to images. Um, there are different metadata options. So it's not quite as thorough as WordPress, but if you just want some, you know, pretty decent on-page SEO, um, Squarespace probably is more than enough, um, gotcha. to be honest. And then what about mobile? How do, how do Squarespace sites, you said they're responsive, but uh, what's the true performance on mobile? Yeah, so they're responsive out of the box and, the, and they work great and, um, you know, there's so like one thing that I think sucks about Wix is that, you know, not only do their site, I'm not trying to spend this episode hating on them, but I think a lot of their sites, the vast majority really look cheap and you can kind of tell if it was like built on a Wix or something. And one of the things I've noticed is they have like a separate mobile site and I don't know how you edit that as a user, but the mobile site does not match the desktop site. Like that's one thing I've definitely noticed. And on Squarespace, it's a unified experience. And one cool thing about the Squarespace editor is that um, uh, at, in the, at the very top bar, you can click this little expand window and it can preview the site on tablet and mobile, which is a super convenient thing. Um, and you know, obviously with the CSS customizations, you can uh, add, uh, add media queries to customize the mobile further as well. But really the site is dedicated, you know, Squarespace, like I said, is responsive out of the box. And all the responsive versions look pretty good. And, and the newer family of templates of Brine allow you to customize the mobile nav a little bit, which is nice. Um, but in general, it's a pretty cohesive, unified experience. And I think most people are pretty impressed with, you know, how it just looks pretty consistent on, on mobile. And it, like, it works pretty seamlessly. Yep. Awesome. So we talked a lot uh, about kind of the, well, the good things around Squarespace. Uh, but when is Squarespace, you know, definitely not the right fit? Yeah, I think usually if it comes to like a bigger, but, you know, if a client is expecting like a more intricate site uh, and is a little more like discerning with design and has the budget to back that up. So let's say like, um, let's say you want to build, you have like 15K and you want to build like even just like a, a nicer brochure site, but it's it's much more small attention to detail. I think when you start to get into maybe like the 10 to 15K website budget, assuming you're like a smaller agency, if you're a bigger agency, I know there's more overhead. I think at that point, you should really start to consider an alternative platform like a WordPress. You know, if, if, a, if you know, a non-enterprise client, like let's say you get, you know, um, a not super big client and you're maybe a five to 10 person agency, uh, and you don't have much overhead and you get this budget for this 10 to 15 K site. You know, I know there is some discovery and maybe there's some graphics components, but I think when you start to get into that range, uh, then it's like, Hey, am I really delivering the value now? It's possible. Like I've seen amazing things with Squarespace sites and I know some people in some cases can charge way, way more than 10 to 15 K for a Squarespace site. But I think that starts to really be the cutoff. Um, I would say like, you know, let's say a client wants like a 25K site. I mean, I would not build that in Squarespace because they're going to expect a certain level of detail. And, you know, I understand there's probably a big discovery process up front for something like that, but I just don't know if the value is going to be there for 25K. So I would say like, as you start to get into those five-figure pricing, then I'd maybe reconsider Squarespace. Um, if you're, if you're uh, looking to build a super content-rich site with like a ton of metadata, a ton of, um, you know, like it's very blog, like it's a very rich blog with um, sorting by like multiple variables, variables at the same time and, and being a huge repository. I think Squarespace is not ready there yet. 
you know, where you'd want something like a WordPress or a Drupal. Um, if you really insist on having login directly through the site, like, um, like not using a third party tool, some sort of backend, um, integrated directly into the site, like Squarespace is not a fit. Um, if you, what else? I mean, yeah, if you need kind of that pixel perfect thing where it's like, Hey, our designers mocked up this exact thing and the client loves it and it has to match pixel wise. I wouldn't use Squarespace for that. Um, and I'd, I'd say those are like probably the, or, or if like you, you have super intricate, you know, um, SEO retainers and this person's expecting like really, um, intricate customization as far as that, you know, paying thousands a month or like really complex, like marketing needs. So maybe some sort of like AB testing or dynamic content into the site. Um, I probably wouldn't use Squarespace for that either. So when it comes to those more enterprise level intricate needs or like super content, heavy, rich or backend stuff, Squarespace is still not there. Um, but I feel like there's a ton of sites that are just pretty simple and straightforward um, and can even include like embedded media, you know, photo galleries or video or whatever. Um, and Squarespace is really um, an awesome solution there. Gotcha. Uh, so why do clients hire you to build websites on Squarespace uh, when they kind of market themselves as, you know, the DIY solution? Um, you know, why use why use an agency or, or why should an agency maybe tap into working with you to, to help them build out Squarespace sites? Yeah, I, like, OK, some people can build a pretty decent Squarespace site on their own. Like some people just kind of come naturally and they're more creative and artistic and what have you. And I know Squarespace's big approach has been like design for everyone. You know, that's kind of their positioning and their tools still make that so much easier than all the other alternatives. Um, that being said, web design does not come intuitively to a lot of people like myself included. It took a while to learn it. And there's a lot of best practices and um, different things there. Like there's still a lot of outside considerations that, um, you know, you don't know what you don't know. Right. So if you're just trying to build a website, you don't, you're, you may not be, you might not be aware of like, you know, huge mistakes you're making. And, um, I, I was, I'm speaking to some of the Squarespace, uh, team members now about, uh, building out like a more, um, like agency partnership kind of page. Like they, they have communities to nurture their experts and all that, but I'm talking about an, uh, another thing as well. Cause so I think Squarespace, um, has, has some room to improve on like, cultivating these expert communities and and continuing to build towards a platform that supports people that work in their tool on a professional basis. So um, I would say people hire Brevity or Website by Tonight when they know they want it done right the first time. They, they, um, they have a little bit of budget, but they're not necessarily made of money and they want some handholding or some consultative experience and, um, and they want it done like quickly and cost effectively. And they also want to be trained on how to do the basic maintenance themselves. Uh, and there's also the concept of opportunity cost. Maybe you can create a decent website uh, spending 20 hours and a lot of anguish. But let's say your hourly rate's 100 bucks an hour. You just got a, a, a decent site for $2,000 when maybe working, working with us in another capacity, you could have gotten that same site and not gone through the anguish and gotten it quicker for, you know, eight forty nine. So um there's a lot of risk doing it yourself and it might not turn out well. And it's just like, I found uh, in, in, with anything in life, if you want it done right, chances are it's just worth paying someone who's an expert to do it right the first time. <laughs> um, yep. And I think a website is one of those great examples. Awesome. Well, I'm going to thank you for your time and, and sharing your Squarespace wisdom. Uh, any question that I uh, didn't ask that I should have asked anything that, uh, Anything else you'd like to cover on the topic of Squarespace? No, I appreciate the questions. I, I hope this was helpful um, towards your audience of, of agency owners, and I hope they consider Squarespace as a uh, just a viable tool for those for those simpler, still really good looking sites. Um, yeah, I would say. Um, do you mind if I just give a slight um, mention of? Uh, website by tonight. Is that okay with you? Yeah, go ahead. And also I was going to ask you if you can uh, share what's the easiest way to, to reach you to connect with you as well. If, uh, if we have agencies or marketers that want to you know, reach out and contact you. Yeah, I appreciate that. So um, uh, 
you know, I created Website by Tonight as a, an, an offshoot of Brevity, which is more, um, a little bit more customized handholding type of sites. And so Website by Tonight, we have this agency partner program. And so essentially how it works is you would fill out a, a, pro, a Google Doc that's just some project brief questions and some content and then send it to us for review. And then we would work with someone from your team. It would be a white label relationship, chances are, with, with your client where we would work directly with someone from your team um, on behalf of your clients. And we build your web, your Squarespace sites uh, live and in real time via screen share. So you would collaborate directly with our designers and see what's going on on the screen and say, oh, you know, move this here, move this here. Um, and we can launch sites really uh, quickly and cost effectively in a matter of hours. And we have two packages. So one is 849 flat and one is 1198 flat. Um, and so people can learn more about that just by going to websitebytonight.com and, and going to the partner page. And that would probably be the best way to connect with me. Um, also, our email address is at the bottom of the site. So you can just send an email to, you know, hello at websitebytonight.com or jared, J-A-R-E-D, at, at J-A-R-E-D, at websitebytonight.com. Um, but yeah, you know, if, if you all, um, you know, kind of have these, if you're if you're an agency or a fractional CMO or an independent marketer or copywriter, and you're just looking for a reliable way um, that's very cost effective and predictable to churn out these like simple or quick turnaround sites. Um, you know, would love to possibly connect about that partner program. And if you have any Squarespace questions in general, I'm happy to uh, answer them for free if you reach out. And that would be the, that'd be the best place to to reach me. Very cool. All right. Well, Jared, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you very much for coming on. And uh, we'll look forward to uh, people following up. And uh, we'll post this in the stable as well. So we'll be able to have some Q&A if uh, people got questions there they can post. Uh, but appreciate your time. Thanks. Thanks so much for having me.